I always think arrays sort of uh, have almost a bit of a bad reputation among students because they see them, they get a little bit scared by them, but they are so useful and they make your life so much easier that you, you just have to know about them, how to use them. Um, imagine I've got a program and let's just say, uh, for sake of simplicity here, it's going to store five different scores. How am I going to do that? I could do it this way. I could go score one uh, equals seven. Let's say the scores are out of 10. Score two equals um five and so on and so on to be honest i am already bored of writing out all these different variables i'm going to speed it up for you there you go done i've got five separate variables here there must be a better way of doing it what if my program needs to store 100 scores i'm going to spend all day writing out all these different variables there must be a better way and there is you'd be happy to know it's using arrays and this is how i do it i can go array score equals and there's a few different things that i can do here i could just do this straight away seven five ten nine and two that accomplishes the same as in one line as all this does up here and if i had more scores to deal with it gets even better but let's say i wanted to for example uh, access the fourth score so let's say i wanted to do the fourth score in the array this one here how would I do it? And I think this is where people sometimes jump off with arrays, but it's really, please don't just because of this. I always start counting from zero in an array. So if I want the fourth score, I actually want this one here, the third element of that score, because I'm starting from zero. What If I wanted to print out what the fourth score is, I would just do this print score. And then I'd use square brackets. And that's really when you know you're dealing with arrays, when you have square brackets. And if I do that, I will get the third element from my score. OK. And that's honestly all there really is to it. I mean, maybe I want to set a value or update a value in that particular array. I can do that very easily as well. I can go score two equals zero now maybe you can figure out there straight away which one of these should be a zero i start from position zero zero one two so this one here the number 10 would now become the number zero so that if i printed score two that would be zero that's a raise. It's really, it's not that difficult and it will make your life a lot easier. One of the beauties about arrays is that I can start combining them with loops and that's, that's where things get very interesting. So for example, if I wanted to print out all my scores, I could have a nice simple for loop here for x equals zero to score. And I'm going to introduce a function here, which is going to be very useful dot length. So that would be, so that will get me the number of items, which is in a particular array print score next x that will take first off what's in position oh. print score and then in the in the square brackets going to put x because that's going to change each time around the for loop and then i'm going to do next x first time around the loop that's going to pull out the number seven because x is going to be zero so i'm going to do score zero so it's going to get number seven <clears throat> then it'll get the number five, then it'll get the number zero, then it'll get the number nine, then it'll get number two. So I can combine these with loops uh, to do very, very fun things. That scale as well, at scale. So all of a sudden I can deal, I can go very simply from a program that can deal with five scores to a thousand or 10,000 scores without really changing any of the code other than the data entry. So arrays, fantastic things to know and use. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.